Hello everybody, today we're going to look at the features coming in the new spring update. It's just a sneak peek, the update's not out yet, but I wanted to show off some of the new stuff in here. We've got four new types of objects to work with. There's cloud blocks, there are plant pot blocks, there's a beehive, and there are honeycomb blocks. In addition, there's some seasonal flower tiles uh, for decorating the levels. Let's get in here and I'll show you how the new blocks work. So first off, you've got the, the rain clouds, water the pots, and grow plants. Um, they have a few other functions though, um, but down here I can show you they only water the plants of their color. So if we move the red one over here, we'll see that the red plant grows now. We can now jump on the plant and use it to traverse the level. The other thing that you noticed is that when you jump on the rain clouds, they move around in the opposite direction um, than you, that you landed on them. Uh, this will provide for a bunch of interesting puzzles where you can move them around to access areas of the level. In addition, the clouds build up charges, static charges, after, uh, after you land on them. Um, the first time you hit them, they build up the charge, the static charge, and the second time you leave them, they, uh, they discharge it as a lightning bolt. The lightning bolts will destroy any plants that are underneath, and they will also destroy the player. So watch out for that. The third functionality of the rain clouds is the rain will actually destroy the bees generated by the beehive. The bees otherwise will chase you endlessly after you've come in contact with their beehive, they get angry and they will pursue you to the end of the earth. However, there's only one one beehive, and there's only one swarm of bees per beehive. Uh, but actually, let me just throw another one in here, and we can we can get a few of them chasing us. The other thing you might have noticed is the honey blocks slow us down. Uh, when when you uh, touch a honey block, it covers you in honey, and all your movements, including gravity, are all slowed down. Makes it pretty hard to uh, get away from those bees. <laughs> your jump is limited when you have the honey on too. As soon as you touch any normal wall, you'll lose. You'll get rid of the honey. Uh, any any kind of wall block will do, except for the beehive. The beehive does not get rid of your honey. It'll just uh, it'll just leave it there. However, the beehive does not apply honey to you. Only the only the honeycomb blocks do. So, as an example of how the uh, the storm clouds could be used in a puzzle. I've got a little section down here where if you move the cloud into the open space over there you can get it to water this plant, allowing you to get to the ceiling here and come over this way. Otherwise there's just uh, there's just not enough oh my I can't get them. Otherwise you just can't make it over there. So that's all for the spring update preview sneak peek thing here. Should come out 
hopefully sometime in April, but we'll see. Uh, you can let me know what you think of all these things. I could still maybe tweak them a little bit if any of you have any good ideas. Uh, but then, other than that, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the true Slime King.